Hey friends, okay, so did you know that there is a metal that is contributed to so many miracles that they actually changed the name of this metal to be called the miraculous metal because so many miracles have happened from this metal. Uh, if, it, if you're one of those people who you're like, yes, a miracle happened, I had a deeper conversion, I you know, quit an addiction, I got closer to God, whatever the miracle is, please share it in the comments. You will be amazed what the miraculous metal has done. I have a story that I'm gonna share towards the end, but I wanna share a little bit about the history of this really quick. So Mary appeared to St. Catherine Labore um, three times and one of the times she appeared like this. So the, the miraculous medal is with Mary on the front and around it is, it says, Oh Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. So that's like around her. And then on the bottom is you will see that she's holding her hands out like this and there are it looks like light coming from it. So those are graces. And so the great thing is like, she can pass out these graces to us to overcome addiction, to come over, to get closer to Jesus, her son, to help us in our life, to have grace. So we're not yelling at our kids. We can have the grace to say, okay, let's do this the holy way. And just not to get frustrated with, you know, our spouse or whatever it is. This metal has been contributed to so many miracles, big and small. So I'll put it right here, but on the back, there are 12 stars and each one represents our Catholic faith, pretty much the 12 apostles. And then in the middle of the Catholic faith is Jesus. So you see the cross and then at the bottom is an M meaning Mary. So Mary and Jesus, and then you'll see the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. And so that is the back of the medal. And you wanna be very careful not to get a Freemason medal that looks very, very similar because it's demonic. Um, so it's different because the Freemason one will have a star at the very top. Um, and then there will be a little tiny Freemason sign at the bottom. Do not get those. If you have them, throw them out. They are garbage. Unfortunately, if Freemasons hate Catholicism hate the Catholic faith and want to destroy us. So that is just really quickly. I mean, I could do a whole video on that, but I'm not going to. So make sure you get a legit miraculous medal. Um, I'll, I'll put down below like how you can tell the difference, if that makes sense, but make sure it's legit and then get it blessed by a Catholic priest. I love mine. I never take it off. Um, I'll link mine below, but you can always go to Catholic stores. You could buy them for like a dollar at a Catholic store. They don't have to be expensive. Sometimes even in the back of the churches, like you will find miraculous medals and they're to be taken. And maybe you feel like God is calling me to pass out miraculous medals. Um, I think you can buy them on bulk you know, maybe even on Amazon or something, make sure they're the, the legit ones. Always have a priest bless them, and then you could put them in the back of the church so people can take the miraculous medal. Or maybe you can just pass them out to all your grandkids, your your kids, your, you know, your parents, your friends, everybody, strangers that you meet, you know, in the grocery store line. So this used to be called the Immaculate Conception, like that was the original name of it, but so many miracles have happened from this metal that they changed it to the, the miraculous metal because so many miracles have happened. And so definitely share down below or read the stories down below because it is amazing how God can, you know, use these sacramentals to help us grow in our faith. And so I, I wanna just say about that really quick is, I know that some people are gonna be like, oh, that's voodoo or, you know, whatever. No, 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 this is a sacramental. So it is helping us get closer to God. And I think sometimes when we're like, no, God couldn't do something like that. We are limiting God. God can do anything. You know, he, he had Moses part the water. He turned his staff into a snake. He told everyone to put the lamb's blood on the door to save their children. Like, so don't limit God. He, this is a gift from God. The rosary is a gift from God. The St. Benedict medal. If there's any three things we should have, like on us at all times, it's those three things, you know, and a crucifix as well. Um, but he 
has the authority because he's God to do anything. And he has given Mary this gift to give to us. So wear it, never ever take it off. Encourage all your children, your grandchildren. Conversions will happen, miracles will happen. It is truly an amazing gift from God. Look at it that way. Like this is a gift God has given to us. And what a beautiful gift. Okay, so before I go, I wanted to share with you a story of my mom and what happened with her. She had found a miraculous medal. She was playing baseball and like out in the field, there was, she was kind of like digging in the sand with her foot, you know, waiting for the inning to start or something. And so she looked down and there was something in the grass. So she like went down and she picked it up and put it in her pocket and it, it was a miraculous medal. And so she ended up going home, like dusting it off. It was obviously there for years and years. And so, um, so she ended up like getting a blessed bear priest and wearing it. And she is the most devout Catholic I know now. And she did, wasn't always that way. I truly believe that it was mother Mary who kind of helped her. She did have like a little bit of a conversion before that, but then like this miraculous medal showed up, she puts it on and she like really was full on into Mother Mary and she never takes it off. She has this and I think the St. Benedict and my mother-in-law does too. And I think they just know like this is a protection. This is like as if Mother Mary were like shielding you from Satan, you know, and protecting you. Like it is very powerful. And there's even been stories of like, you know how like the travel channel now does like, I don't know why, but like ghost stories and stuff. So there was a phase in life where um, I was a part of a ministry and like we'd watch those shows. I don't know why. It was always a Catholic priest who could get rid of, you know, ghosts in house and demons, you know, exercise people. Anyway, um, there was a lady and she said that um, her miraculous metal kept burning her. And so she took it off and that is when like she got possessed. She she truly believes that that was the moment or take off your miraculous metal because like Satan hates the miraculous metal. Uh, Mary is so pure and holy and he hates that. And so it is a reminder to him that that she is better than him. And so she will protect us. You know, you see in the image that Mary is stepping on the snake's head, which the snake represents Satan. And so that is a huge imagery. The lady crushes the head of Satan and that lady is Mother Mary. And God gave her that, like he, He's in charge of everything and that's what he decided that this woman is so amazing. I'm going to let her move mountains and you know, with her faith and she just, she's so amazing. So anyway, so my point is it is as if she is holding you, hugging you, protecting you from Satan. And so make sure your kids have one and they're wearing them, your grandkids, all of that. Anyway, I'll link mine down below, but you can go to the Catholic store. I would, I would recommend just getting like maybe a, like a stainless steel one or something with a little bit better metal like gold or silver even if you can afford it because they last forever um, whereas like the little dollar ones like they're awesome they work they they do what you know needs to be done but they do sometimes tarnish is the only thing but those are the ones my kids have because i'm afraid they're going to break the chain so they work just as well um, if that's what you want. But anyway, I hope that this video helped you. Please read the comments of all of the different miracles that have happened. You will be amazed at what God can do um, through wearing the miraculous medal and having faith and believing in Mary's protection and bringing you closer to Jesus. So anyway, until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.